Hi Fulcrums, it's Jessica with my June reading wrap up and my sizzling hot July TBR. I had a very busy couple of weeks because I spent my birthday in New York City. I saw the Outsiders play. I also did some book shopping. Plus, this past weekend, I went into Old Brookville, which is located here on Long Island, New York, because the Long Island University hosted the Gold Coast Book Fair. I would like to thank my sister Jen for filming me when we went into New York City and Old Brookville. Not only is she great at taking videos, she's also a great photographer as well. So thank you, Jen, for filming me. Now I will talk about what I read in May, starting off with Mackie Casamata's Love at 6,000 Degrees, which is about a woman and her, her husband and her son. Uh, they all live in this country where they get bombed, but she leaves them behind because she's scared. So she goes to Nagasaki, where she meets this young man who is Russian, and they have an affair. Now, the reason why I give this three stars, it's confusing in some parts. But also, what kept me interested is how come she was never named and why she's having an affair with this young man. Next up is A Cozy Mystery by Alison Brooke, Death Overdue, which is about Carrie Singleton who is a librarian in Connecticut. She's getting ready to leave her job when she gets promoted to programs and events. At one of the events she's hosting, this detective who's investigating this murder case, that of Laura Forrester, who previously worked at the library years ago, uh, he was poisoned during his presentation. So, Laura, so, Carrie has to find out if these two murders are connected. But what kept me interested in this plot and why I give it four stars is because it's centered around a library. Next up is the classic Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Now I give this five stars. And it's also a banned book according to Syracuse University Libraries. It was listed at number 71, but there's no reason given as to why it was either banned or challenged. What kept me interested in the story is its darkness because Maximin uh, D. Winter lost his first wife, Rebecca, under mysterious circumstances. And his second wife, who was never named throughout the novel is trying to find out why Rebecca passed away and like all these weird things are happening. But uh, there's a plot twist that did it at the end that really kept me on the edge of my seat. And last is Nicholas Sparks is at first sight. This is the story about Jeremy Marsh who lives in New York City. He's, he was previously married, but that marriage broke up, and he and his first wife were going to start a family, but that never happened. And he vowed never to do those three things again. So, anyway, he meets this woman, Lexi, who's either from North or South Carolina. Uh, she gets pregnant by him, and they're about to get married. And Jeremy is questioning if he's really happy in this relationship. Now, I give it three stars so far, but that might change. And the reason why is because I don't really read romance that often, so we'll have to see if you know my opinions change. For the month of July, for my Discord server, we will be reading the classic and banned or challenged book, Jaws, by Peter Benchley. A link will be left down in the description box below if you would like to join in. Next up is Emily Henry's The People We Meet on Vacation, 
which is about Poppy and Alex, who have been best friends for years. They always took vacations together, but then something happened two years ago on a vacation that they took uh, together, and it also changed their relationship. Now Poppy, again, is asking Alex, and this time he decides to go. Will they end up together? Here is the children's classic, Heidi, by Johanna Spirey. Uh, also, I'll be reading The Devoted by Blair Hurley, which is about Nicole Hennessy, who has a Boston Zendo, much to her family's charge, because her you know, family's Catholic. And also, um, She's having this uh, affair with her mentor and she's trying to break away from him. So I don't know much about this story, but it looks like it could be some very interesting reading. And last is uh, Dark Secrets by independent author Amari Cannon. Now I picked up this book yesterday when I went to the Gold Coast uh, Book Fair. I also want to say that you should also support local independent authors because there's so much talent out there. I will read the back of this book. So if you're interested in, in purchasing the book, uh, you could, uh, I'll leave a link down for uh, this author's uh, Facebook page. In the heart of New York City, Faye Sanders, a 30-year-old native, suffers a psychotic break, erasing her identity with the turmoil of her fractured mind, Faith encounters four women, Monique, Chloe, Melanie, and Diamond. Their lives are marred by unspeakable traumas, including molestation, rape, prostitution, and drug overdose. As Faith unravels the mystery of her past, she discovers a sinister truth they all know what Faith Sanders is. The story unfolds as a dark and, con and connected web of shared secrets leading to a spine tingling thrill that explores the darkest corners of the human psyche. Well, which of these two do you think I'm looking forward to reading out of the five books that I have picked out for July? Could you guess? These two. So thank you all for watching. I hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Bye, bookworms.